Right now, there is an amazing amount of choice when it comes to electric cars and plug-in hybrids. But which are the best buys in every class? From small cars to SUVs to performance cars and everything in between, the What Car Electric Car Awards with My Energy name the very best. We're talking you through each winner and we'll explain why these cars are better than the competition. The prices you see are the guaranteed price you'll pay for the car if you buy it through whatcar.com. And you can also take an extra £3,000 off the EVs that cost under £50,000 thanks to the UK government plug-in grant. The links to the deals are in the description below or just search for what car deals. Now, let's get to the winners. While you won't find a plug-in hybrid that costs less than £25,000, there's actually a lot of choice when it comes to EVs. The best of the bunch? It's the Seat Mi Electric. One of the cheapest ways into EV ownership is also one of the best. It offers a really comfortable ride, surprisingly spacious interior, and a great real-world range of over 100 miles. Compared to Smart's EQ electric models, the Mi goes way further and is much better all round. It's very closely related to the Skoda CityGo EIV and VW E-Up, but the Skoda's gone off sale and the E-Up isn't quite priced so keenly as the Mi. Another class with zero FEVs but plenty of EVs is the small car class, and the winner is a car that's very good with a petrol engine and just as impressive with a battery and electric motor instead. The Peugeot E208 inherits the catchy styling inside and out of the standard 208 but gets an electric range which will comfortably take you 160 miles or more between charges. And that's a lot further than most rivals. The cool Honda e may be a little more fun to drive, but it won't travel as far on a charge. The same goes for the Mini Electric. The Renault Zoe runs the E208 closer, but it isn't as quick nor as comfortable, even if it will go further on electric power. For the best E208, pick Allure Premium. Attractively priced, but still with loads of kit. The Hyundai Ioniq was the first car to be offered as a hybrid, plug-in hybrid and an EV. And it's as an electric car where it really shines. It's practical with lots of space for luggage and passengers and has a good range. It's a great EV family car solution. It will also go further on a full charge than the BMW i3, Volkswagen e-Golf and most versions of the Nissan Leaf. Go for premium trim and you get heated front seats as well as a 10.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system. Plus, the car is covered by a five-year, unlimited mileage warranty, which is better than most rivals offer. The Mercedes A250e is something of a game-changer among plug-in hybrids. It's the first relatively affordable one to offer an electric-only range of more than 40 miles. And as with all these plug-in hybrids, the more time you spend running on battery power, the less petrol you'll burn and the more money you'll save. 215 brake horsepower combined from its 1.3 litre petrol engine and electric motor make it far swifter than its main rival in the class, the Kia Exceed FEV. The switch from petrol to electric in the Mercedes isn't particularly smooth, but its interior is top notch. Speaking of game changers, here's the Kia e Nero. It was the first EV to offer a massive range, not for a massive price. And two years on, it's still hard to beat for value. Today, there are many more rivals it's against as well, and it actually costs more than the budget-focused MG ZS EV and stylish newcomer Peugeot E2008. But crucially, the e Nero will go much further between charges. And our favorite version is cheaper than the Hyundai Kona Electric and the recently revamped Kia Soul EV. Plus, the e Nero is more well-rounded than any of them. Comfortable on the motorway, nice inside, and in three trim, it gets adaptive cruise control, leather seats, and a heated steering wheel. It's a double win for the Kia Nero. The e Nero is the best electric small SUV, and this version is the best plug-in hybrid small SUV. It may not quite have the glamour of rivals like the BMW X1 xDrive 25e or the Volvo XC40 Recharge T5, but the Nero is in a league of its own when it comes to ownership costs. It's one of the cheapest plug-in hybrids you can buy and can travel for an impressive 30 miles on electric power alone. It's comfortable and spacious and all round great value. With plug-in hybrids, there's often one fatal flaw. Once the battery's depleted and you call their engines into action, their fuel economy isn't all that great. This is especially true of large SUVs. The Ford Cougar Fev bucks this trend. Even with a flat battery, it managed a seriously impressive 52 miles per gallon on our carefully controlled test route. 
that's better fuel economy than you get from some small diesel SUVs, let alone big petrol ones. And its pure electric range will take you further than the Mitsubishi Outlander FEV and Volvo XC60 Recharge T8. It's more comfortable than those rivals too, and it's good to drive. We've been big fans of the Skoda Superb Estate for many years, because by offering class leading space and practicality, it represents Skoda at its very best. So it's no surprise really that the Superb Estate IV translates this package brilliantly into the plug-in hybrid world. It's similar to the VW Passat GTE Estate, but has a bigger boot, which, let's face it, counts for a lot in this class. It also has a smart interior and very smooth driving manners. Is Tesla single-handedly responsible for the paradigm shift in the perception of electric cars? Well, it certainly deserves plenty of credit. And the Tesla Model 3 has shown that battery-powered travel can be luxurious, far-reaching and fast. And financially, it's brought those things within easier reach than fast EVs that went before it, like the bigger Tesla Model S. The Model 3 is truly outstanding, not just as an electric car, but even compared to fuel-powered stars like the BMW 3 Series. The new Polestar 2 proved a threat to the Model 3's crown, but while the newcomer may have a better built interior, the Tesla wins in every other area. The performance version is the quickest Model 3 you can buy, and if you pick it, you are getting a truly, utterly brilliant car. For a plug-in hybrid executive car, the BMW 330e M Sport is by far and away the best bet. And it shows how the times are changing too. Even just a couple of years ago, diesels completely dominated this class, with the 320d leading the way. But now the 330e is very nearly as sharp to drive, despite the added weight of the big battery, and it makes a much cheaper company car. Then of course, if you do mostly short journeys, you'll barely burn any fuel at all. In real world driving, you can expect to cover 26.5 miles on electric power alone. A Volvo S60 T8 is faster, but it's nowhere near as good to drive and costs a lot more too. Jaguar's first electric car may be a luxury SUV, but it handles and steers exceptionally well. This is one of the main reasons it stands out from the Audi e-tron and Mercedes EQC. But fine handling isn't the only party trick. It's also incredibly quick and delivers an impressively long range. The e-tron and EQC are much slower and won't travel anywhere near as far. Go for entry-level S-Trim and you still get plenty of luxuries while keeping the price down. The BMW X5 xDrive 45e has really shaken up the entire plug-in hybrid world. The claimed electric-only range of 54 miles is comfortably the best here, and while the official figure may sound a little optimistic, in our real-world tests we got 32.5 miles of pure electric driving from a full charge. And that is class-leading compared to the Audi Q7 TFSI e and Volvo's XC90 Recharge T8. But this X5 is far more than just a luxury SUV for penny pinchers. You get hot hatch rivaling performance, better handling than the Q7, and a more comfortable ride than the XC90. Plus, it's got a great interior. The Porsche Taycan is the most entertaining, engaging, and playful electric car on sale. Straight line performance is predictably impressive, just as it is in many other electric cars, like the Tesla Model S. But where the Taycan really moves the game on is in the corners. It has stunning levels of body control with accurate, feelsome steering that's better than any other rival going. The Taycan 4S is the sweet spot in the range, but we'd add the Performance Battery Plus option. With it, it's still the cheapest version of Porsche's new electric car, but it can travel further between charges than its significantly more expensive Turbo and Turbo S siblings. Anyone who believes plug-in hybrids are for those only interested in counting miles per gallon clearly hasn't travelled 172 miles per hour in the Porsche Panamera 4e hybrid. And even if your commute doesn't include a deserted stretch of autobahn, the plug-in Panamera has the ability to thrill you on every journey, with inspiring handling and an exquisite interior. It's hard to believe the rival Polestar 1 is almost twice as much money. You can buy an even quicker version of this car, the Turbo SE Hybrid, but as it's so much more expensive, we'd stick with this already brilliant version. Two awards now where the competition wasn't exactly fierce. There's only one electric seven-seater and one plug-in hybrid seven-seater, but these are two worthy winners nonetheless. 
Granted, it isn't cheap, but the gullwing doored seven-seat Tesla Model X is enormous, has some of the best self-driving tech around, and offers acceleration that would embarrass many sports cars. You can have a five-seat version for slightly less cash, or a six-seater for a bit more, but with seven seats, it makes the most sense and offers extra flexibility that cars like the Audi e-tron and Jaguar I-Pace can't match. Another green seven-seat choice comes in the sizeable shape of the plug-in hybrid Volvo XC90 Recharge T8. Quick acceleration, flash interior, seats for seven, the XC90 is one of the most versatile FEVs going. Plus, the boots are decent size even with all seats in place, but drop the third row and you get one of the most practical boots of any SUV around. So those are the winners at the Watt Car Electric Car Awards with My Energy. For a great deal on every new car on sale and to get the deals shown in this video, go to whatcar.com. Make sure you're subscribed, tell us what you think of our winners below and we'll see you next time.